today we've got a little bit of an unboxing to do. Let's have a look what this is. So the description on the customs sticker says a fiber media converter. So let's see what's actually in the box. So we've got two of them by the looks of it. And what are we looking at here? We've got a European power supply, 12 volt, one amp. And what we can see is, this looks like a coax to LAN Ethernet converter. So why have I got these? And why have I got two of them? So the pair of these cost around about £20 off AliExpress and the reason I bought them is I currently have a home plug power line set up to run between one of the rooms in the house uh, because I'm unable to run some Ethernet cables to them. But I'm not very happy with the performance. Um, I've tried a couple of different brands, uh, Zyxel and Solwise. And to be honest, I don't think it's the power line adapters that are the problem. I think it's my wiring. So I decided to look at another solution. Um, I only re really require a maximum 100 megabit connection, but all I was previously getting as a maximum was probably about 50 megabits with some home plug AV2 adapters, which should be capable of 600 megabits in theory. Um, so the reason for buying these was I do actually have coax cables running to the rooms in question. Um, they were used or should be used for TV aerials, but I don't actually use the TV aerials. So the cables are running from both rooms where I've got the Ethernet cable running into to actually put the home plugs on the network. They're both running into the attic. So the idea will be this replaces the home plug at one end, this replaces the home plug at the other end, the coax cables between the rooms running via the attic, and we should be able to provide a ethernet connection into the room that currently doesn't have a reasonable one. So the idea will be, let's see if this is, this is worth the money. Does it perform better than the home plugs? Can I get close to 100 megabits out the other end? Time will tell. I believe these are usually used for CCTV, where you have an old school analog CCTV system and you want to replace it with some form of IP camera. So rather than rerunning Ethernet cables, you take advantage of the 12 volt plus coax cables running to your current analog CCTV. You place one of these at each end and that will give you your Ethernet connection through to your new IP camera without having to replace and run brand new cables. So IP cameras don't tend to run at such a high bit rate so they don't necessarily need a full 100 megabit connection but these are supposedly capable of that. And the small amount of reading that I've done shows that they actually run using the home plug system themselves, the power line standard. So that'll be interesting to see if it works. So using iPerf 3 we can do a network performance test for the devices in question.
and that shows an average bit rate of only 31.8 megabits. That's not really very good and if we try it again just to test it some more we're hardly even exceeding 30 megabits there so that's not really up to scratch anything above 50 i might be happy with but i really would like it to be close to 100. so here we can see the setup that i currently have something nice and simple the home plug here Ethernet cable coming out and that's running to an Android TV box which is the one that we uh, have run the iPerf 3 tests on. Currently that home plug runs here and there's the Ethernet running from the home plug into the Android TV box. But What we do have is the coax outlet on the wall and the idea will be to use that coax outlet as a route to connect up either end. One thing we need to consider is how we're actually going to connect these up because the wall socket is a standard UK type RF connector and this is a BNC coax connector. So what I propose we do is I've got some satellite type cable with F connectors on the end. One end is an F connector to RF connector. So this can go into the wall socket and this end we have an F connector to BNC. Screw that in. Then attach it to the end. So that should give us BNC through to wall connector. So up here what we can see is coax cables, one goes from one room, one goes from the other room, just put some F connectors on them and I put an F connector coupler in the middle so that joins both rooms via the coax cables. On either end of these we have the adapters, so see how the adapters work. So we've got the device here, we've got an ethernet cable going into it. That is also connected to an Android TV box there. And then we've got the coax, which is connected to the wall socket. And we have the exact same connection at the other end. So let's see if it works. Plug, plug the 12 volts in. There we have it, four lights on. That means we've got a connection. I think one and two are the ethernet activity. I think three is power. And I think four is the actual coax connection between the two devices. So I guess it's time to test it. So now we've got them connected up. The test is to see how it performs using iPerf. Using that we get around 75 megabits. That's more than double I was getting on the home plug system. So let's give it another try. And another. Whilst there seems to be a few little errors, the throughput is very high compared to the home plugs. So I think we'll call this a success and I will continue to try and test them over time and see if there's a significant improvement.